Hello from Frog Tactics again. This one is one of the got a burn. Now is the time to switch on this card to see if it's working. Like I said, it's still got a warranty stickers in there, which is still nice. Okay, on this card, as you can see, we got an 8 pins connector. There we go. Just stuck in properly. Okay, now I will test this card to see if it works or not. Okay, as you can see, this is been born. There is something wrong. I still hope my computer is not die. This is actually the first time I see how the car is blow up. It's not really nice. And it's not really secure, and this is the reason why I use actually my test tricks and not my actual PC. Okay, I really don't know what's happened now, guys. It's quite fun, still smoking inside. Just take it off, and I'll try to find out. Car is really, really, really warm on this part. Like I said, car is looks really nice condition. That I'm surprised what happened. Uh, next, what I will try, I will try if my PC is still working. Yeah, PC still works. It's not not a problem. I'm quite lucky. And I'm going to open this card to have a look what's happened. I just take it out, and now I will try find where it's been actually that spark. I find it. It's quite huge. Did you see that? It's actually melting down. To be fair, I will try to clean this out to see if I can desolder. As you can see, this cup is absolutely damaged. Just poop out. I will not solder back. If it's this result for bad packaging or I don't know, but it's definitely unbelievable. And actually first time ever happened to me, the card sparking in my PC. I'll try to clean this. Here you go. Nothing else I can do with this card. I'll be put all together. Now we are actually ready to test this car to see what happened. I will stick in. Okay, guys, you see the damage on the card. I cleaned that out. I think there is still a shortcut, but I'm happy to try this for you to see what happened on this PC. Um, if it's more sparkling or not. Here you go. Switch on. Three, two, one. There you go. You know what is funny? Card. It's got that. Card is working. Really? You sure? Okay. Now is another question. I'll try plugging my keyboard and and to see what happened. Probably on this car is HDMI port this damage. But here you go. You got a working card for unexpected reason. Okay guys, now I plug in my hard drive and keyboard to try boot the windows with this car which got that sparkling just a couple of minutes ago. See John. And I'm gonna post display. Booting Windows. 
as you can see the car is without these components and still working actually what I'm thinking uh, because the board being on the top of the side of the car which has been actually mainly for HDMI output I think HDMI output is dead and I'll be not try that HDMI output and also I'll be not try the display port output as I don't say I don't have a cable for HDMI or actually not the HDMI I don't have a cable for the display port output and start an HDMI there's no reason to try I think okay maybe I'll try looks like driver is will be low here we go unbelievable guy unbelievable now I try tech power GPU Z if it's loading correctly oh yeah as you can see everything looks looks actually normal I'm absolutely quite happy and I I can explain how I'll try quick this spoon test I think what I will be doing guys I will be like, put a one boot test and I will be open that car again and try more do a more secure but so far yeah so far so good here we go temperature is going to 74 75 76 it's not bad. Don't, don't remember, I not replaced the thermal paste. It's still the same. Average is 44 frames per second, which is absolutely nice. Core clock is 1136 MHz. It's really nice. Temperature is 82, and here you go. We got the done test all good all good guys okay like I said I will try open that card again to have a look if I can do something more secure and just <laughs> a good card wow as I want to be sure you know this card working even with that bro with that boon I will be open it again clean the all thermal paste just to get new one check again if it's not doesn't make a more burn underneath and once it's all done I'll be put the test under stress about two hours which is I usually do and see if it's work or not and also I'll be try for you just for you guys I'll be try the HDMI port as well but like I said I can I can't try the display port because I don't have a cable and I don't have a monitor for test that future. I'm still surprised this card is working. Okay, hold on. As we can see, it start burning this one as well. I will clean that. See how bad is it? As you can see, this one is going down. I have a feeling once I take it off this, this will be continue boom. Here you go. Another component is boom out. Like I said, because it's, it's actually the damage is here. It's probably it's just HDMI port doesn't work. Maybe it still works. Who knows? But I can test only this and HDMI. I will I will do that in a minute. Once I clean this out, which I hopefully it will be still works. I just definitely want to see this card is safe to use. Okay. 
how close look, how it looks the card. You can see it's there is a damage. I hope so this side is all good and all safe. I don't see reason why not. Put a new thermal paste. Okay, now done. New thermal paste, nice and clean. And now I will try this card again. see what actually happened still works or, or not because I took it one more component down which has been another bone damage and I hopefully you'll be sure your card is stuck properly ready guy switch on power supply switch on the PC Boom! Works! There is no more smoking going out. It's good. Windows is built in, but as always, we need to check the boon test and GPU Z if it's recognized everything correctly. Yeah. All done. All good. G4 GTX 760 back to life from sparkling fire or whatever you want to call. Yeah. And I do a test. You can see car is working with no problem at all. There's no more smoke going out. Cards working on full mark about 44, 45 FPS. With temperature now 67, which is improved over the last time we tested because we put a new thermal paste. It's actually going up, but it's a, it's a normal. And now. I will be switch off the PC, I will try HDMI out for you. So far, brilliant. No. Actually, I don't need a switch off, I maybe I just can plug in the HDMI to see what's happened. I plug in HDMI uh, now I will change the source to HDMI and unbelievable it works really guys tell me how how is this possible? Okay, that's what I can say. It's probably the last burn point is only for for the display power output. But so far, surprisingly, it's working. And because I want to do a full test on this card, actually, I installed one of my GOG version, which are free. Uh, surprisingly, are working. But as problem is, like I said, problem is the biggest problem is two gigs on my test rig, which card is absolutely low, low settings, and even on the low settings, you can see it's not running very well. Uh, and even try to move, it's actually freezing all the time. But it's not a problem for the car, for from card. It's not problem the processor because I'm sure this processor can run this game easily. Only you need is more than two gigs RAM. I hope I can show you that because it's so slow. It's so slow, but with there, only I can show you now. 
it's actually a hard drive it's reading nearly full processor is about 83% and RAM is on 76 it's so low that's why you try play this game on this setup it's really not possible but good point is the game is running and card have a note that pixel nothing it's just like actually it's working that's all I can say if you like this video click like which has been this if you don't like you know what that mean and actually subscribe for more video like this and please please subscribe I need you bye